AWS Lambda is a public service that runs within a region. And therefore, it can't connect by default to your resources in your private virtual private cloud. But you can configure a function to connect to private subnets in a virtual private cloud in your account. And you would do that so that your function can access those private resources during execution. You need to do a couple of things to enable this. You need to supply the private subnet ID and the security group ID with the required access that you need for your application. And what Lambda will do is actually use this information to set up an elastic network interface in your subnet. So what does this look like? So we have Lambda and Lambda is sitting within a region but outside of your VPC. So you might have your private resources like your application running here in a private subnet within a VPC. And you want Lambda to be able to connect to those resources. So when you configure it through the console, and we'll see how to do that shortly, Lambda will automatically create an elastic network interface that has an IP address in that subnet. Now, one of the key things you need to understand is as soon as you enable access to a VPC, you lose the ability for Lambda to be able to connect to directly to the internet. So you need to have a NAT gateway. So a NAT gateway, which sits in a public subnet, is then the route for the private subnet to reach the outside world. And it will then go out via an internet gateway. So that's a key exam question. Now you can't get a public IP address. So you do need your Elastic Network interface to be in a private subnet and then your NAT gateway to be in a public subnet and then you have a route to the NAT gateway. And that's how you enable internet connectivity for your function code. So you must connect to a private subnet with a NAT gateway if you want internet access. Now one of the other things is to watch out for DNS resolution because that can take a bit of time and that might mean that your function runs longer. You can't connect directly to a dedicated tenancy VPC either. You should also consider whether you need to connect to a VPC at all. Obviously, if you need to, then you do, but just be aware that it can slow down function execution. Lambda will use your function's permissions to create the network interfaces. So therefore, to connect to a VPC, you need a few permissions. You need the EC2 create network interface, the EC2 describe network interfaces, and the EC2 delete network interface. Now these permissions are included in the AWS Lambda VPC access execution role. So let's go into the console and connect one of our functions to a VPC. So I'm just gonna go into my function. I'm gonna scroll down to where it says VPC, click on edit, and I'm gonna choose custom, and then I get to choose my VPC. So I can just connect to the default VPC, for example, and then choose my subnets. And it always recommends that you have at least two subnets. So let's choose private 2A and private 2B. We then get to choose a security group. So if I choose web access, I can then communicate over these protocols. Now what's gonna happen if I click save now? Remember I didn't update the execution role. So if we click on save, sure enough, we get the provided execution role does not have permissions to call create network interface. So I'm showing you this just because it's so important and this is the type of thing that comes up in exam questions. So let's go to our execution role. I'm gonna attach a policy and this one is called AWS Lambda VPC access execution role. And so I'll click on that and we can have a look into the policy here and see that it allows us to create a network interface, describe network interfaces and delete network interfaces. So that policy is attached now. Let's go back and try and configure that VPC again. So I'm gonna choose the same options, same subnets. Check the security group in there and click on save. So that's all there is to it. Lambda is now going to automatically create the Elastic Network interfaces in the two subnets that I connected it to. And my Lambda function will then be connected to my VPC.